Hello, my name is Jonathan. What I'm going to show in this tutorial is how to properly render a scene using Mental Ray and a Skylight system in 3D Max 2010. First of all, it's very important to work on scale. But we're going to do customize, unit setup, and choose uh, whatever metric system that we're used to. This is just to have a clear reference of the size of the things we are about to build. I'm gonna click OK, and I'm gonna build a block of uh, 1,000 meters by 1,000 meters, and add some buildings on it using boxes too. This is gonna be a block of my city. Uh, I'm gonna enable uh, some of the new feature of 3D Max enable hardware sharing this is to have a better representation of what happening on the viewport I use smooth too and now I'm gonna apply some materials to choose mental ray materials I have to set mental ray as some my men, my render engine so I'm gonna choose render render setup and choose mental ray photometric lighting with low illumination click ok load this choose materials and choose a uh, mental ray material with this arc and design arc and design I'm gonna make this mate with a mate finish. This is gonna be my base material to all my building walls. To apply this material to all the buildings, I'm gonna choose everything on this scene and I'm gonna drop this material into it. Assign to selection, click OK. There we go, all our material applied to this scene. Now to see this we need a light. We're gonna use just a light a daylight system. I'm gonna drag to build uh, the compass and then I'm gonna drag again to build the sun. There we go. Now we have a city block and a daylight system. I'm gonna choose uh, a position into the scene to make a preview render. I'm gonna use this tool, which are some kind of a fit. It's like uh, walking into a video game. It's very useful to, to situate the camera into the scene. It's like if you were actually walking there. Well, I'm gonna render this. I'm gonna choose the size of this thing. I'm gonna go to common and choose an HD proportion, HD TV video, and I'm gonna set this to 640. It's just a draft, so I don't need to have a huge render. That's gonna take time and useless. Oh, let's render. There we go. This is how what we get with um, default uh, lighting of a uh, daylight system. And now we need some to add some environment. As an environment, uh, I'm gonna use uh, mental ray environment. I'm gonna choose that here in environment map. Instead of using a bitmap, I'm gonna use this one here, which is Mental Ray Physical Sky. This is a physical representation of uh, the sky lighting. Just okay. It's very important to use a photometric exposure control. And let's uh, choose this 
press it, clear sky and render a setup to set up the other parameters we have uh, in this exposure uh, dialog different type of exposure exposure adjustment we can do this uh, on exposure value or photometric it's uh, the same thing you, we, you can adjust this using the exposure values or you can adjust this using this photometric uh, exposure values it's not going to change the, the results you can use these parameters or this just the same thing you can use any of those well, here we have a highlight mm, mid tones and shadows this is like uh, levels of photoshop so i don't want the the scene to be too burn so i'm going to down this a bit and I'm going to increase the shadows and choose the mid tones in a value that looks uh, realistic for me that's it let's render this again let's see how it looks yeah, well, now we have better shadows and a sky but still a bit cold so let's tweak these parameters a bit make the city a bit bigger and select a location I'm gonna choose the South America and Buenos Aires this is going to simulate the sun of uh, February at uh, 15 o'clock Let's render the scene. Well, it's better, but uh, still missing something. So, I'm gonna choose uh, the daylight and let's tweak a bit the parameters. In the sunlight of the daylight, we're gonna choose uh, mental ray sun. Mental ray and skylight same thing here sky mental ray sky let's render this again i'm gonna split the screen to have a uh, reference of the different render parameters let's render this there we go main difference here is that the shadows are not totally black now um, we have a we have a sky lighting and the shadows looks a bit uh, more blue and we have, we have some ambience so it looks um, better let's render this again we with the uh, final gather enabled now Well, this is almost the best result that we can get using Mental Ray and a Skylight system in 3D Max 2010. So from here, it's just uh, you can play around with the parameters to get different type of illumination. This haze parameter is about uh, the contamination. Uh, it looks make the scene looks a bit more yellow, like if we have smoke or something like that. Maybe a bit cloudy. Let's render from another angle. Um, that's it. We have this uh, high haze value. Well, that's all. I'm gonna be uploading more tutorials on the future about uh, modeling and texturing.